Lack of proper financial support is the major hindrance to the growth of small businesses in Kenya. According to a study by Financial Sector Deepening Kenya, FSD, and the Financial Access Initiative Center of the New York University, most small businesses avoid loans because they are not tailor-made to meet their needs. The study, conducted in seven countries, also revealed that Kenyan businesses are the most resilient with the least risk of closing shop after seven years of operation. Loan facilities that are available in the country's financial system are not suited for small business needs. The study conducted by the financial sector Deepening Kenya, FSD, and the Financial Access Initiative Center for the New York University aimed at improving the understanding of how small businesses can overcome the barriers they face in order to prosper and reduce their levels of poverty. They need to be able to match those cash flows to overcome that volatility. To reach stability, they need to be able to smooth those ups and downs. And to do that, they need working capital and liquidity. The study followed 155 businesses across the country for over a year. Small firms in the study are defined as those with 1 to 20 family employees. The research was conducted in Nairobi, Kisumu and Kwale and focused on manufacturing, the services sector and agri-processing, which showed 33% were women-owned businesses, 59% were male-owned and 8% were owned by both. We see that small firms have more bank accounts, have more mobile money accounts, use mobile money for savings and loans more, um, use SACOs or microfinance institutions at twice the level of micro firms, interestingly. Um, but, but also interesting is they continue to use groups and chamas. So even though they're using formal finance, they're complementing that formal finance with informal financial mechanisms, leveraging their social networks. The study aims at guiding policies and practices for a wide variety of actors and stakeholders. Further, it allows companies and governments to design or improve products and programs that increase the capacity and productivity of small businesses. It will also enable organizations design financial service products, including digital financial services, that better meet the liquidity and investment needs of SMEs so that they can expand their businesses in terms of income, productivity, employment and wages paid. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.